Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is a travesty playing some Neverwinter Nights 2 using the Isle of Shrines mod. Okay, at the end of the last episode, we just exited the cave here. That was the gem mine that we were in. And as you can see, I don't have my dog with me because he got killed in there. Poor bastard. <laughs> but as soon as we find a campsite, we'll go ahead and get him back. So I think what we're going to do next is we're going to go up to this place here it's the, called the Shrine of the Doug Marin Bright, Bright Mantle. That is where we're going to go next. Over here on the beach down here in the southeast corner, we had found a map with this area circled, so there should be something important up here. So we're going to go ahead and check it out. Let's see here. Yeah, what do we got here? We got a thunderstorm laying there. And there's the shrine. Oh, there's a lot of stuff laying up there too, it looks like. What is this? A felsal tree. Hmm. Probably get some felsal blossoms off of that. Yep, sure enough. Alright, let's see what we got here. Here's the temple with the door open. Some stuff laying out here. Let's grab this. We got some garlic and some tonic moss. We'll pick that up. And blacksmith's workbench. Nothing on it. And some belladonna. And we have a chest with some smithing items in there. We'll leave that alone for now. What is this? A charred skeleton. Let's take a look at this. What did we just pick up? An inventor's journal. Let's take a look here. Nothing but the last few pages of this charred journal are readable. The weather machine I have built uses thunderstones as a power source. The focus shockwave produced by the crushed stone causes a cone of low pressure to form over the island, sucking in and compressing clouds. One stone can produce a light rain, two stones a medium rain, and three will invoke a storm. Four would overload the device, invoking a lightning strike. Hmm. And we have a control panel here. Let's take a look at this. The control panel of this device appears to be in working order. Examine it. There's a funnel shaped opening in the control panel. It would seem that some sort of small round object is meant to be inserted. Hmm. I'm going to assume that's the thunderstorms. Let's see, we can do a light rain, a heavy rain, and a storm. How many thunderstorms we got? We got ten of them. Let's see what a storm, see what happens. Black ominous clouds completely block the sun. A storm begins to rage. Hmm. Disperse the rain clouds. The rain ceases and the sky clears. And the, and the sky clears. Okay. That might be for something else that we aren't aware of. I don't know what the hell that's about. It's back here. Oh, there's a chest back here. Pearl reinforced full plate. Slashing resistance. Hmm. Instant vines. What is that? This flask contains the seeds of a fast growing tropical vine together with alchemical substance that further accelerates their growth. If thrown at the feet of an enemy, it can entangle them for a short period of time. Hmm. Does entangle. I have to lighten this load. And we're overweight. Uh, let's put the stuff in the old bag of holding. Alright, anything else? I think we're good. Anything else back here? Nope. Alright, so let's go inside here. Let's see what we got in here. The Shrine of Doug Marin. Oh, who's this? Kitson and Anya. Statue of Doug Marin Bright Mantle. The Dwarven God of Invention. What's that? There's a statue over there. A dark Steel Golem. Hmm. Well, let's go talk to these guys. And who is this? The names. 
Ah, uh, keep that thing away from me. What's the matter? It's only a cat. Only a cat? That's no cat. That's a free fiend. Well, what did he say? Have you no idea how dangerous a luck eater can be? Hmm. Let's talk to him again. Yes, hello to you. What was all that fuss about the cat? You mean the luck eater? Luck eaters have mind controlling abilities and feed on the luck of other creatures. I'm betting you've had nothing but bad luck since meeting up with this thing. Actually, I probably wouldn't have survived without him. Really? That's quite out of character for a luck eater. Usually they bring nothing but chaos and bad luck. If I wasn't soiling my britches just being this close to the creature, I might otherwise have made a study of him. Hmm. <laughs> I seem to be stuck here in this damn island. If you've got a ship, I'd gladly pay passage to get back to civilization. Pay? If it's rescue you're in need of, then we'd gladly offer our help, free of charge. However, we're not quite ready to leave just yet. Is there anything I can help with? Certainly. I'm here to further my studies about an alloy called dark steel. If you were to search the island and find anything useful on the subject, then bring it to me. If I can gather enough research materials like books or prototypes, then we'll all be able to leave. Hmm. Journal entry update. Gold dwarf named Kitson has offered me passage off this godforsaken rock in return for books or items relating to dark steel. If I find anything relevant, I should bring them to him in the shrine of Dugmarin. Three items should suffice. Hmm. Hail and Anya. Hail. How can I help you? How did you come to be on this expedition? Many years ago, I was injured while battling a furbolg. Gold dwarves found me half dead and took me in, nursing me back to health. I have felt a kinship with them ever since. So you're here to repay the debt? I can never repay them for the kindness they have shown to me. I am here because I wish to be, and because Kitson enjoys my company. There is never any sense of either of us owing the other. Hmm. Okay, so we gotta find a bunch of dark steel stuff, and I think we've found a bunch of stuff too. But let's go take a look around. What is this? A statue. This statue of a dwarf is surprisingly lifelike in detail. Examine it. There's a ring on one of the stone fingers. Take the ring. What do we get? No idea. Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's look at the petrified bookcase. Bunch of gems. And here's a bunch of scrolls. What do we get? Stone to flesh. Hmm. We got six of them just for the hell of it. Let's try it on this. See if anything happens. Where did you come from? My boat was damaged during a storm. I washed up on the beach. No, I mean, how did you suddenly appear from nowhere? From nowhere? What are you talking about? I was working on this petrifier when... Oh, it must have misfired again. How long was I petrified this time? That depends. What was the last thing you remember? The dams. I was working on a way to strengthen the coffer dams before they gave way and flooded the mines. Is there still time? The mines flooded centuries ago. Then I'm too late. Hmm. Anything else? Why did the dams fail? The coffer dams were leaking faster than the pumps could handle. The Zalantar timber was holding well, but the steel connectors holding them together were old and corroding. If only we used dark steel, it would have resisted corrosion. But then hindsight is always the keenest, as they say. We had two plans. One was to create tireless dark steel golems to man the pumps and keep pace with the leakage. The other was to petrify the coffer dams to prevent further degeneration. Hmm. Why mine below sea level? A huge meteorite must have hit the Moonshay long ago. We think that's how the Moonshay Sea formed. The circle of islands around it may have been the rim of the ancient crater. 
we followed veins of meteoric iron and even some adamantine deeper into the main island to the north of here. Eventually we found ourselves mining below sea level. It was an expensive way to mine, but dark steel has always been in great demand for shipbuilding. Salt water corrodes ordinary steel fittings, but dark steel will resist corrosion, and it's easier to work than adamantine. Tell me about dark steel. Dark steel is an alloy of regular steel and meteoric iron, tempered with rare oils. It can be fashioned into corrosion resistant armor or weapons that release an electric shock when they strike a target. What will you do now? The shrine is magically shielded, so there's a small chance that the years will catch up with me and they'll crumble to dust if I leave. It may be prudent to stay put for a while until I've researched the matter thoroughly. It might be a lengthy stay, though. Could you do me a favor and gather me some supplies? I'd gladly swap some gemstones for a bit of fresh food. Hmm. So we got a journal entry update. Dwarven wizard we awakened in the shrine of Domer and Brightmantle has asked us to fetch food for him in exchange for gemstones. Hmm. Well, I do have a bunch of food. I found some food. What have you got for me? A gull egg. That's worth a topaz. I got another gull egg. And another topaz. And I have some grapes. That's a fire opal. And some more grapes. Another one. And a peach. A sapphire. And another sapphire. A cooked fish. I got a ruby. Another cooked fish. And another ruby. Some cooked meat. And a diamond and some more cooked meat and another diamond nothing else oh that completed already that should be more than enough you have my thanks alright hundred experience points for that and a bunch of diamonds hmm anything else nope alright let's keep taking a look here we got some dwarven lore the trove lord all right, some more books on Abathor, the Errant Explorer, another lore book on Doug Marin Bright Mantle, and the Merchant King, lore book on Vergadane. Let's grab all that stuff. What else we got here? Bunch of empty bottles on a table. Alchemist workbench, nothing on it. A lot of crafting material here, I suppose. What's this? We got a bag sitting here. Unknown item. Man, it is a lesser magic bag, it looks like. Let's open her up. Empty. Alright, don't really need that. And what's this? A tapestry. Despite its age and condition, you can still appreciate the quality of this tapestry. Appreciate the quality. Yes, indeed. An exquisite example of the weaver's art. Hmm. And we got a trap door here, just locked. Let's see if we can open this. Locked from beneath. Hmm. What's on the counter? Some potions. A rod of sense alignment. Hmm. And an unidentified helm. Enchanter's circlet. What does this do? Bonus feet. Craft magic arms and armor and light two uses a day. Hmm. Nice crafting device there. And we got a lantern hanging on the wall here. Can we identify that? Nope. Magician's workbench. Empty. And a bookcase. Tome of Alchemy. Guide to Enchantment. Further Guide to Enchantment. Got a bunch of crafting books. I have to lighten this load. And some unidentified armor, boots, and some gems. What do we got here? Boots of the Sun Soul plus one, only for monks. And we got some unidentified stuff too. Another table. Gem of Insight, what is that? Identify three uses a day, nice. Alright, and some crafting stuff, I think we'll just leave that. What's this, the Uber chest? 
This represents the pinnacle of home security. The lock is impossible to pick. The chest is immune to all forms of damage, whether it be physical, elemental, or magical. Nothing but the correct key will open it. Unfortunately, the only key was left inside the chest, which was designed to lock automatically when closed. Hmm. Let's look in the chest. Oh, you used a key. Okay. We got some items and a note. The Merchant King has tested ye. The trickster mighty pleased is he. This endless sack to store your hoard. And lucky stone are your reward. In Stronggale Hall they'll speak your name. The favored now of Vergadane. Hmm. So, looks like we were blessed by the gods or something there. Alright, what was that stuff here? Alright, we got a bunch of stuff we need to identify, but let's look at this shelf yet. More books. One is unidentified. Let's grab that. It's a hog and field guide. I think the rest of those are lore books. And what's that? There's a torch on the wall and a brazier. Oh, we need a torch to light it. Where is my torch? Let's light her up. Alright, can we camp here? Yes, we can. Alright, let's leave it alone for now. What's this? The properties of dark steel. So we just picked up a book. Oh, I bet that's a book for... What's his name there? That dwarf over there. Hmm. Alright, dark steel golem. This dark steel golem is about the size of a large male dwarf. It does not seem to be fully functional. Examine it. On the right side of the golem's chest is a removable cylinder. Perhaps some sort of power source. It appears to have been damaged. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so I think what we're going to do next, let's go ahead and rest up and get our dog. Let's do an 8 hour rest. Ah, oh, doggone it. I should have damn identified that stuff with that damn gem. Oh well, let's see what we got here. In the meantime, let's put on our lesser amulet of the master and see if we can identify anything with that. Let's see here. Bracers? No. Ring? No. Another ring? No. And armor? No. Robe of fire resistance. Probably not going to need that. Let's put that in there. Is it a sun soul can go in there? And a container? Nope. And an amulet? Nope. And a book? Nope. Okay, so let's use the gem of insight. I can do identify three times, so let's see what we got here. What is this one? Adamantine braces of armor plus two. Ooh, armor bonus plus two and damage reduction. Hell yeah, I'm putting that bad boy on. Alright, we can sell that other one. Okay, let's see. Two more shots. Let's see what these rings are. Lesser ring of power. Regeneration and elemental resistance. Hmm. That's probably a good ring right there. You know what? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that one on. Ring of health. Put that in there. And last identify. Let's see what this ring is. Stone Eater's Ring. Stone to flesh once a day. Hmm. Okay. I got a bunch of stone to flesh scrolls, so I'll probably don't have to worry about that. Okay, so I still have five more items here. Let's see, I don't have a potion of lore, huh? Oh yes I do. Let's fire that up. Let's see, can we figure what these are? Yep. Thoughtful Vestments. Mind affecting saves plus two, concentration plus two, and shield of faith three to uses a day. Hmm. And amulet. Luckstone universal saves. And increase on saves or uh, skills. Nice. 
And let's see, what is this? Miscellaneous. Nope. And another miscellaneous. Nope. All right. And this book. Can I figure that out? Nope. Okay, so I got three items left to sort out. Actually, four. What's this container here? Yep, another bag of holding. Anything in that one? Nope. Okay, so I think we're going to have to rest again so we can get that uh, three uses back on that gem because we have, let's see, one, two, anything else we need to identify? Yep, these two items in this book. So, let's do another rest. Alright, let's see, might as well get the dog back. Okay, let's see what we got this time. Let's see, do we have the three charges on identify? Yes, we do. Alright, let's see. Miscellaneous medium object. What is this? Scabbard of keen edges. Keen edge, three uses a day. Hmm. Let's see, let's go ahead and open up our bag of holding. Let's put some of that stuff in there. And let's re equip that before I forget it. Luckstone can go in there. Where's my gem? Alright, identify. Another miscellaneous thin item. What is this? Lantern of Revealing. Invisibility Purge. Unlimited uses. Hmm. And let's see the book. Let's identify that. What is this? Prayer to the Over God. Only usable by clerics and paladins. Prayer, three uses a day, and light, unlimited uses. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and store some of these books. Merchant King. Enchantment books. And we had this Sahagan Field Guide. What is this talking about? If a sea elf colony is within a mile of a Sahagan camp, then one out of every 100 Sahagan births resembles a sea elf. These Malenti, as they are called, are physically identical to a sea elf, but are as evil as their Sahagan kin. Few sea elves believe that the Malenti exist, and when pressed on the subject will dismiss them as a myth. As a result, Malenti spies will often successfully in infiltrate sea elf colonies. Hmm. That might be a hint of something. Hmm. And this property is a dark steel book. I'm going to keep that because I think that might be for the dwarf, actually. And let's see. I think that's it. Let's see. Anything else we can throw in the damn bag of holding? Uh. All right. This is probably a good spot for a quick save.